This is Hidden Killers Week in Review. A look back at the most prolific stories of the week. You're listening to the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruski. Featuring attorney, guest, and former felony prosecutor Eric Faddis. No new trial for you. At least that's what the judge said this week in the hearing Alec Murdoch had as they examined evidence for a potential New trial, a hearing that was taking a close look at Becky Hill and the allegations of improprieties and jury tampering, even though a juror in that hearing did come out and flat out said, yes, Becky Hill did say these things to me, and she did affect my decision to vote for guilty. The trial of Alec Murdoch, still not enough, apparently, for that judge. Joining me to discuss, attorney Eric Faddis. Eric, were you surprised after the testimony that we saw? I was watching this thing and I was thinking, well, there you go. There's a slam dunk. This is going to be a new trial. We have somewhat fl- someone flat out saying, yes, my decision was influenced by Becky Hill. Still not enough. Not only surprised, Tony, but heated and bothered and alarmed a little bit by it. Like you said, it seemed like Alec Murdoch and his team had established what they needed to legally to get the new trial. This judge came in and said, hey, that's not enough for me. You know, but that's one judge's opinion and and not necessarily the final say. Without a doubt, it is one of those things. I mean, the the bar was set and I, I the bar seemed to be clearly met of, look, someone has to flat out say that this affected my decision. That was clearly stated. I guess, why did that not resonate with the judge? I mean, what, what are your thoughts? I mean, they all, the other jurors, no, no, everybody said no, we didn't have anything, issues with Becky. This one clearly did. What's the judge's thinking here? And, and, and it obviously you can't get into their head, but what do you think they're thinking in terms of their reasoning? So- So my impression is that the judge hung her hat on this previous affidavit this juror had filed. And so in the affidavit, the juror says in part that her decision to vote guilty was influenced by um, pressure from other jurors. And and, and she did affirm that at, at the hearing, the juror. And so I think what the judge did was said, oh, gosh, well, this juror voted guilty. You know, she was pressured. It was because of during the deliberation process what the other jurors did. And, and not by what the court clerk Becky Hill told her. And so I'm going to hang my hat on the fact that that was the pressure that, that was at issue for this juror and not the impropriety allegedly by Becky Hill. So essentially, you're not allowed to come back and state any different opinion than you already made is kind of what the argument is. Uh, you know, scary enough. Yes, that's what it seems, even though we had a full fledged hearing where, where the juror is supposed to testify under oath as to how she feels and, and sort of elaborate and give more information about the basis for um, her position. But I guess that the judge wanted to kind of hang her hat on that previ- previous affidavit. And that's what I think she did. Later in the day, after the uh, the jurors testified, we heard from uh, Becky Hill before that even took place. The attorneys for Alec Murdoch said, hey, you know, we, we want the truth out here. And I believe that juror wanted to give further testimony. The judge didn't want to hear any of it. What more do you think could have possibly been said or and why would the judge not want to hear uh, what, uh, you know, what that person had to say? You know, the judge kept this hearing very limited, it really set some strict parameters in terms of what evidence she was willing to hear. As you, you, you're aware, I'm sure Becky Hill was not allowed to be cross-examined on some of these sort of extraneous issues of her, you know, plagiarism, allegedly, and also conspiring with some potential wiretap. There's a lot of weird stuff mm-hmm. going on. But the judge said, no, I'm going to keep it very limited and narrow. And But what else could they want? I guess another juror who came in and said, yes, my verdict was also affected by Becky Hill. Would that have been enough? Three jurors, four jurors? I'm just not sure with this judge. Yeah, it's like, what would the bar have been to get an Alec Murdoch retrial? Becky Hill's testimony, obviously Becky on the stand very much being Becky Hill saying, I didn't do any of those things whatsoever. What was your reaction to her testimony? Well, what it means is that somebody's lying and somebody's lying under oath. And it's either Becky Hill saying, I never made those statements to the jury, or it's the juror saying Becky Hill made those statements to me. And so which is it? I mean, the judge has to make a credibility determination, and perhaps that influenced the judge's ruling. 
But yeah, I was interested at Becky Hill's presentation and, and someone's got to be lying here. And so that that's something the court has to figure out. Yeah, I mean, and how do they do that? How do they get down to figuring that out? You know, it is an imprecise non-science, really. I mean, it, 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 it's just how you and I would, would determine who we think is lying or, or telling the truth. You look at demeanor, you look at mannerisms, you look at consistency in statements over time, you compare the content of those statements with objective evidence to see if it is corroborated or disputed by that evidence. And so there's really a process you go through, but it's, it's akin to what you and I would do in deciding if our friend is lying about you know, winning the state championship or something. Yeah, I mean, at the end, we're talking about human beings and decision-making and truthfulness or not being truthful. And, I mean, it's all very subjective. I mean, there's no way anyone can ever truly get into someone else's mind and say, yes, this is exactly, you know, what your intentions are. Want to listen ad-free? Want advance access to all of our interviews before anyone else? Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. You get every episode commercial free. So you can binge on True Crime. Until you can binge no more. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts now. Or go to our podcast page and sign up now. More of the Hidden Killers podcast next.